So once you feel like you've finished creating your materials, you'll need to do a couple of things. Firstly, we need to save the project. So if I go to the file menu and click on that, I can see save. So if I click on save, I can see this whole project as an exe project file. So I'll call this one swimming 101 um, 0809. Just remind me which um, which module it is and for which year, and then I'll save it. Okay, so that's saved. Now I can only use that project file within exe, but I'm also going to export the project as HTML files to use within a virtual learning environment or on an external web page. So if I click on the file menu again and go down to export, I see I can see I've got a few options that I can use to export the file. If I want to export it as a website, I can choose that. If I want to export it as a, an IMS content package, which I could use for the VLE, I can export it like that. Or I've got other options as well. In this case, I'm going to click on IMS content package. And I'm going to call it swim, swimming one, one, oh eight, oh nine, and click save. And in the next video, we'll have a look at how you could import that into a virtual learning environment, in this case, Blackboard.